My dad's legacy, conservation at this amazing scale, it's the entire mountain range you see behind you, was made possible by our family for hundreds of years managing economically viable working forests. And more shocking than our cutting trees, the conservation of the mountain range was also made possible because we developed elsewhere. Dad taught me and Evan there's a critical balance between conservation and development, and one enables the other. This parcel started with just a few acres in the mid-1860s, and our family um, had some economic success with forestry and were able to add to the acres, generated enough revenue to acquire thousands of more acres, and these are being conserved today. So the active forest management caused the conservation to happen. When my dad would sell a one acre house lot, frontage lot on our timberland, some neighbors would get upset about development. But he would use the proceeds to either pay the taxes on that open space or he would uh, buy 100 acres of timberland with the revenue. Then again, development helped conservation. When my dad built Riverside Park Apartments in North Amherst and then a dozen subdivisions with um, clustered smart growth. Again, families didn't build in rural areas. A&R lots, cluster subdivisions, and building in existing village centers <laughs> enable this kind of conservation. You can't have one without the other. <laughs>